Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother. And I'm here today with a little special wine that I was waiting to try. I think I bought it like mid-year last year. Um, and it's a Malbec. So if you followed me, you know one of my favorite red wines are Malbecs. And most of the favorite ones I like is from Argentina, South America. So I love those wines. And the one that I normally get it from is a Mendoza. So one of the things that I didn't get to try and I didn't realize I didn't try it was a 100% Malbec and a reserve. So I never had a reserve. I had just regular Malbecs um, with a touch of common air in there or never 100%, but I was able to get this one. It's a Cruz Alta, Cruz Alta Malbec Reserve, and it's a 2015. So is it 15 or is it 14? 14. What is the matter with me? Let's look at this closely. I was reading about it and it's a 2014. Check it out. Yeah. And Mendoza, Argentina. And you know, if you follow Malbecs, that is the best region to get your Malbec from. So I really wanted to say how this would taste, if it would be any different, yada, yada, yada. But I was just looking forward to this one. So this Cruz Alta Reserve Malbec was something that I, I just looked up and I went to uh, Total Wines and found it. The other one's price points was like $18, $20. This was a $16.99 one. And I was like, I'll, I'll pay a little more because a lot of the Malbecs is around that $12 range. This is just a little more price point. But I love these and it's got great flavors about them. The one thing that I love about them that I was able to distinguish quickly is it has a plum taste. So if you drink, I mean, or, or eat plums, you will really say that's plum and it's, it's really, really easy to identify. So this is why I really love this one. It's a nice juicy plum. Um, it has some vanilla notes inside of that too. So if you get a whiff of it, um, if you're not familiar with um, natural vanilla, you would say, I'm not sure what that smell is. But if you're into that, you'll know that, well, I got some vanilla, a lot of black fruit and intense, and some of it a little slightly smoky, but not quite. But this is one I was really excited by. Um, there's a lot of wines that I'm holding until I just really feel like enjoying. There's some Cabernets that I'm holding. There's there's a, a, a couple of Rieslings from um, some regions that I'm just holding. But this one I wanted to try and go from there. So let's stop talking about it and take a whiff, check it out. This is nice, you know real dark still kind of that inky dark look on that um, as I swirl it around I had it sit out for about two minutes because I wanted it to breathe so that aroma and everything would come out of that so I let it sit out I normally let it sit out to a certain point and just just let it breathe so I could be good and um, and I've been drinking this one but as soon as I popped it open I was like let me keep drinking so let's take a whiff Yeah, um, you, you can smell those black currants, those black um, rich red plum um, kind of uh, aromas just popping out of there. Uh, not that cherry. So some people always default to the cherry, um, but this one is really not that and, and not that sweet raspberry either. Almost a blackberry currant kind of smell, but really good, really good. Good smell. You can probably pop that little vanilla out of that, but uh, let's get a taste. You know, I want to, I want to kind of get a taste of that because I'm enough smelling. Not very tannic, so don't think about the tannins and say, "Woo, it, it's, it's it's really tannic. It sits on your tongue." Blah blah blah. You get a good feel. 
it's okay the tannins are smooth so this is a really smooth you 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 get that that plum um slightly taste you don't get a lot of anything more than a nice plum a little on the dryness side um but it's a really balanced smooth uh taste on this i really like this one and you know i don't drink a lot of malbec because i've been trying so many different wines from all over the world so i don't really go back to my favorites because i want my palate to almost taste like it's brand new but this one is a good one it's a good it has that good plum uh taste the vanilla notes is is on the top end and not really tannic not really acidic either so you don't get a lot of acidity like mm, you don't get that either so that's another plus that you can just grab hold of if you don't like a lot of acidic red wine. But this one is smooth. Um, so this Malbec out to cruise is a very smooth um, Malbec reserve that you'll probably be able to enjoy. Let me sip this real quick. Mm. I love it. Um, it'll be gone by tonight. <laughs> so I'm gonna be drinking all of this. But really good. So a nice, even a good sit down. I'm going to hit the fireplace and finish the rest of this as well. So I'm good. Um, I'm happy. I'm good. This is a good recommendation. They do have the 2014. You don't see a lot of them around, but you see some 17s and some 15s. But this one was a 14 because I, I brought it last year. And, you know, it, it, it has a good lasting power to that. But try it out uh, 100% mile back I'm gonna try another one as soon as I get an opportunity and then I'm gonna try one that's not 100% to see what kind of a difference it is but anywho thanks for stopping by urban wine life go to urbanwinelife.com go to bougie black brother network on YouTube so you can see it and you can um, get that look of the bottle so if you're looking to see what it looks like you can go there and I'll show you what the bottle looks like and you can see my other wines that I'm going to pull down and drink <laughs> from here. So it's just a lot going on. But thanks so much for stopping by every Friday. You get my wine reviews. Thanks again. And we'll see you next week on Urban Wine Life.